from Slick As, and today we have Brad in the shop. Hey, Maddie. Now, we actually had, we wrapped Brad's car about eight months ago, but I wanted to get Brad back in because uh, we have this beautiful booth and we could film his car. However, <laughs> it didn't fit. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, <laughs> so anyway, what we want to do is this has been one of the coolest cars that we have wrapped. We get a lot of awesome rigs here, um, but this is definitely something special. Yeah. Now that you've got the canopy and we've wrapped that today, I just wanted to do a walkthrough so you could show everyone all the work you've done on your car. Yeah. So take us through, start us at the front. All right, well, the biggest thing for me probably is suspension. Like um, I've done the J-Max um, 4.2 GVM upgrade on Kings. Done the 35s with ROH Mavericks, GVM upgraded um, rim, obviously, or alloy. Got the KM335s on there. So Brad, why'd you go with the J-Max? I went with the J-Max because um, weight is the biggest thing yeah. with traveling. Um, I am heavy, I'm four ton at the moment, and that, like, that's pretty much load. I still got to pack some clothes, and if, if anything, if I take off, but weight's probably the biggest thing traveling Australia. Um, I'm pretty top heavy too, at the end of the day. Um, I just wanted to make sure that having a GVM upgrade is probably the safest thing to do traveling on the road. Yeah, yeah. do it once, do it right. Yeah, do it, do it yeah. once, do it right. Nice, um, and now the canopy is pretty cool. I haven't yeah. actually seen one of these. Yeah. Um, wanna show me? Yeah, it's pretty much um, the first canopy in um, Australia from Thorburns Fabrications at Sydney. Um, East Coast Touring, um, they've done, this is their new Zeus canopy. Um, where do I start with it? Like, there's so much to, the, the boys have just nailed everything they've done. Um, well, I know when I first was speaking to you, when you first come in the shop, you hadn't decided on a canopy brand. Yeah. But you are mentioning these guys really went above and beyond to build something that you wanted. Yeah. So is that, is that really why you went with them in the end? Yeah, yeah. The, like Liam from Thorburns, he was willing to do anything I wanted to do, but still keep his sort of design, yes, as style. you can't sort of just change that. Yeah. Um, I understood that from the boys. Um, the only thing we really changed was a little bit bigger, um, just to fit everything in and how we wanted it. And I sort of gave him a couple of options and we worked together and we ended up with this. Nice. Now, uh, I already know what my fe favorite feature is. It's uh, the pie oven, but <laughs> yeah. do you want to tell everyone else the other cool stuff? Uh, we got a coffee machine, so this comes out here. And this is all like custom built from Thorburn, so it's uh, I just said I wanted a coffee machine, so the boys ended up with this. Um, they've got the coffee pods in there, um, induction cooker up the back here, so you can pull that out. I've got my power up there. I can always have cooking on here. Um, the fridge comes down and drops down, obviously. Um, yeah. Yeah. What, kind of, what kind of power are you running? What do you I've got a um, Victron um, 2000 watt inverter from Safari yep. with a Cymarine Cy display and all um, Safari's display units with their touch display. So obviously when you press this, lights come up. Once you hold um, these on for a couple of seconds, it's all dimmable, so all the lights are dimmable. Plus we've got our breaker switches down here. So we've got the breaker for the fridge is on, um, rooftop tent. So we've got power up there for charging phones and lights. And so the other side's all storage, you've left that plenty of room. Yeah, I've just got the loaded drawers in the other side for yep. clothes or storage or whatever you really want to put in there. I've got, so you can put all your food and everything in here. Nice yeah. and easy, quick yeah. setup, quick getaway. Fabulous. And then, what do you end up doing with your your rooftop tent and your awning? We, I spoke to Liam a few times about the rooftop tent. I was going to go with the Bush uh, Company's rooftop tent, but um, I spoke to Liam and he does offer a prototype tent. Um, he hasn't got it down pat yet, but I said, look, throw it on. It's the rest of the build. It was going to tie in everything and have the signature ladder built in. Um, yeah, well the, the back end of it looks so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the ladder and the setup looks really tidy, especially with the two two spares. Yeah. So, what, yeah, no, drop th that down, jump up. This is the signature ladder from the boys too, so they've come up with this design specifically for this car, only because the rooftop tent is heavy. Um, yeah. the, the ladder does tie in with the tray. 
and the canopy itself. So that's where, you know, the structurally it comes into play and, yeah. and is a lot stronger well, than I others. Like it. It's really wide too, which makes it yeah. a bit easier to get up. A lot of the time they look unbalanced on the rear or yeah. not a very wide ladder. And I was, so well, Kelly, Kelly was my partner. She was a bit concerned on getting up to the rooftop tent, but as Liam said, he, he said he would make the bar bigger. Yeah. And it's just, no, it, is, it is easier to get up and down yeah. than, than the little ones you see. Yeah. So what about your tyres, rims, everything, you're happy there? Yeah, yeah, I went with ROH Mavericks because that was an option for a J-Max. Yep. Um, I went with the KM3 because I thought that I've done a lot of research on those sort of tyres and they're good on-road and off-road. Yeah, well they look awesome. And, and what about this drawer? Just well this is, or... this is mostly recovery, like I was going to put all my recovery gear in here, but I got Liam to make me up a stainless steel bench top. Um, Maybe for filleting fish, oh, exactly or um, yeah. like maybe you could put another stove here and cook because I only have a little one there because there's not much room in yeah. there. So like yeah. obviously you can pull that away too and fit all up that in yeah. with the recovery gear. Yeah. And then there's just more bench space, like. Yeah, you can never... And I wanted the stainless steel top too. Just it's easy to fill it fish and just slide it off, yeah, you, you don't know. Have to worry about cutting it. And then it's fully sealed uh, drawer. No, it looks really, really tidy. And, and as far as the exterior and all of those sorts of things, everything you've added so far, is there anything you'd change if you were to do it all again? Like, this has been quite a long process. Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't change anything. The only thing I probably would change would maybe be another two more wheels. Excessive. <laughs> Six wheels. I don't think you need that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. But apart from that, I've been... It's been long, like you yeah. said, but it's been it's been fun dealing with people like yourself too, yeah. and coming together with everyone. And yeah, this is the end result at the end of the day. Uh, it's fabulous. Now, before you go, I do want to show everyone in the interior because yeah. when I first got in your car eight months ago, I was like, oh, "What the fuck have you done?" Yeah, it looks good. So, yeah. so we can go around and do that. Um, so definitely my favourite thing is the interior, yep. as someone who quite likes the aesthetics of yep. vehicles. So what have you done? I've gone to ProSeat and um, I've done, I've, I've ripped out everything yep. um, as they used to have the carpet in there as yeah. factory. Yep. Um, I went to the beach one day, jumped in the car, the sand sticks into the, into the um, carpet itself and you can never get it out. So I've ripped out everything, sound detoned, Done the ended up with the vinyl instead of the carpet. Yeah. Easier to clean, easier to maintain. Yeah, um, I've done the door pods. Yeah. Um, All the upholstery looks awesome. Like such yeah. a simple thing. Yeah. But like on a everyone knows the 79 comes so basic, so it they makes do. the biggest difference yeah. in the interior, like the overall look. It, I know you're not quite done yet, but it looks really nice. Yeah. And you can pick all your stitching too, so you can pick yeah. any colour. So I could get pink. You could get pink. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Um, I've ended up going to the GTS seats. Yep. Um, so they're pretty much refurbished, yep. as you would say, but they're they're new. Yeah. Um, so it's a whole new replacement of the seat. It's just general. It's just general um, on the rails itself. Yep. So that's how you can. Nah, that looks awesome. <laughs> See, you're just me. Are you going to be doing anything more on the interior? What's uh, left to go on the build? I'm um, going to see BAW in the next couple of months. Yep, awesome. Um, they're doing all the floor consoles, roof consoles, yep. um, getting in-house airbag controls, um, GME radio, lights. Mm. Um, it's a pretty big list. Will it ever end? Yes. Mm, you'll be bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get a boat or something. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, great. Awesome. For anyone doing up a 79, there is a heck of a lot of people doing that, I'd say, right now with yeah. COVID going on and wanting to do more national travel. Yeah. Where would you start? Would you do it in the same order? Do you have any advice? Is there any like cheap little easy mods that people can do? Yeah. I mean, that make a huge difference or? Well, I like the iDrive. The iDrive is pretty good. Um, it's got a different, it's throttle control. Um, you can choose different modes. Um, Going up a hill, for example, you can put it on economy mode and it can crawl up there a lot slower. Um, it's something that is pretty cheap and it, it's something that you can play around with and, it, and it's fun. Yeah. Um, 
steering wheel that, that's cheap and it, it, they're actually smaller. They're from PVS, Power Vision and Sound. Um, Jamie at Sydney puts them in. Um, I guess they're pretty cheap and you can put that in. Yeah. Um, we've done the head unit. Everyone needs a different head unit because as everyone would know, they're pretty stock standard stereo. The only thing cool about a stock one is it has Bluetooth, imaginely. So, um, apart from that, yeah. Love it. Well, even these maybe. Oh yeah. Actually, this is something we see all the time in our shop because we we do wrap that little pl um the painted area. Yeah, from your hand. Because everyone's fat arms and then yeah. it wears away. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good little easy one. But nice. So it wouldn't change anything. Few wouldn't more change things anything. To go. Yeah, a few more things and then pretty much done. Yep. And then off to Western Australia. Nice. Love that. Well, uh, everyone can keep up to date with your yeah. on Insta. Yep. Fabulous. Thank you for bringing the big girl in. Oh, thanks for having me, Maddie. Thanks, Cheers.